Well, thunderstorms are a common occurrence here in the Carolinas. Thunder and lightning strike across the horizon, but Chris Mulcahy tells us that above some storms is a different world of lightning that even flash different colors. Most likely when you think of lightning, you think of images like this. But what if I told you this isn't the only type of lightning? There are other types called sprites, blue jets, and elves. Let's raise that weather IQ. The common lightning we see is divided into two main types, negative and positive lightning. 90% of all lightning is negative lightning, which comes from the base of a cloud, while the less frequent positive lightning comes from the top of the cloud. Since positive lightning travels a much farther distance to make the channel, it's 10 times stronger, lasts 10 times longer, and can be 10 times louder. But this extra energy can sometimes create something even rarer above the storm. Check this out. This is a blue jet. These cones of blue light erupt upwards from the top of thunderheads to heights as high as 25 miles, as you can see from space here. These are essentially the discharge from a very strong positive lightning strike. Lightning can also appear red. This happens directly above an active strong thunderstorm when a powerful electromagnetic field is created. The imbalance to the top of the atmosphere can cause this phenomenon called sprites. These can sometimes be seen from the ground, but only last a fraction of a second. Lastly, elves occur 60 miles above Earth's surface in the ionosphere, the layer on top of the atmosphere where auroras occur. These create a halo or disk that can reach a diameter of up to 250 miles. Sprites, blue jets, and elves are all TLEs, or transient luminous events. These are fairly new discoveries, first documented in the late 80s to the early 90s. The good news about TLEs, they stay well above us, so no effect to us here on the surface. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. Now we're all a little bit more weather-wise.